Hello, this is Lord Chocolate back with another Ark Survival Evolved video. I'll probably. In this video, I'll be taming a Spino, hopefully. And I haven't quite finished it yet, but I'll probably. About now, I'll probably cut back to some previous footage that didn't have audio and I'll add it some maybe voiceover I'll see. But maybe I won't. But here's the Spino that I knocked out in that footage. Only level 8, so it's not that great, but it's my first dinosaur anywhere near this size that I've knocked out. I mean, even in cheats, I don't think I've knocked out anything this big. I've tamed them using Force Tame Command, but I think there should be enough meat. <laughs> 
since I've got pretty fast taming rates. And it should also be enough uh, the narco. But it looks like... Oh, that's an itsy bitsy fish. But I don't want to hurt the spino by accident. Okay. There we go. Looks like it's doing pretty well. Nice and big. <laughs> Very big. <laughs> Probably take some damage from up here if I jumped off. <laughs> okay, so health is not that high, but of course it's a low level, so what do you really expect? Um, weight's decent. Not that great. Stamina's eh. Oxygen is really decently high. Um, melee and movement are base, it looks like. So, I mean, it'll be useful, I guess, for... It'll be useful for getting just... Uh, getting prime meat, probably, and then uh, or mutton or whatever. Just make me a little more comfortable wandering around the island. And But I won't really necessarily rely on it as something that I need and I will probably be more likely to run than fight if I run into something big with this guy because he doesn't have he's not that high level <laughs> I mean my turtles have more health than he does but of course his damage and his speed of attack may make up for it some Him. Keep him unconscious. Make sure taming efficiency. I mean, he may or may not gain any levels. It looks like about three or four. Okay, this is two feedings worth, so. Three, four, five, six, seven ish more feedings. Seven or eight. Or no. Not more feeding. One, two, three, four, five. Like five or six more feedings should. Like eatings, pieces of meat should tame him. I've got like five times tamings rates because a creature like this, if it was just normal meat on, let's say, base rates, it would take forever even if it was a low level like this. He's so big, his head. Let's just see, size comparison. Head by itself on its side is about as tall as I am. <laughs> of course, I'm not the tallest player character. This is going to be first big tame. Hmm. These are really popular on Aberration, I've seen, because they're the closest thing to a Rex <laughs> that you get, other than the Reapers, which are pretty hard to get. I mean, I'm not playing Aberration just because, I mean, some of the stuff is a little too horror-based for right now on what I want on the channel and just what I and my family feel is good for right now, but, I mean, I might be interested in it at some point? I don't know. If it's extinction though, unless there's something really, uh, unless there's something really objectionable with it, I will probably get, because I'm really excited to see what the next stage of the story is. Though I've read through all the explorer notes for Aberration, I'm pretty sure, and stuff. So I know the lore related to it pretty well, as much as I can from the Explorer notes. Oh, I really like the music for Aberration.
I noticed a glitch though with the, that proves they haven't completely fleshed out the system for that they haven't completely fleshed out the system for the uh, DLCs plugging into the main game because when I played on Scorched Earth when I mean even today I so I noticed this bug a while ago but then they it looked like they fixed it but even today when I played on Scorched Earth I just briefly to test my microphone because in the previous recording it hadn't worked I noticed a graphical glitch that really annoys me. You see that graphical glitch right there? Where the layers of it overlap and don't line up properly? That annoys me. Hopefully they fix that in a future thing. Of oh, the saddle I'm talking about. You see the cushion right there? Oh well. But uh, I was saying that after playing on Scorched Earth, you know how the menu you may have heard, or you may not have, but the menu screen, the menu screen of it, of Scorched Earth, changes to, okay, I'm going to switch this, okay, the menu screen of Scorched Earth changes to, uh, or the menu screen changes to the Scorched Earth logo and music, but in, but now that ever since Aberration's been added, when I tried at doing the me going to the menu screen. Ah, prime fish meat. I was trying to see if he'd take mage or berries. But ever since they added aberration, whenever I join, whenever I do Scorched Earth and come back to the menu screen, it has the Scorched Earth music but the aberration logo. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> but I guess it's just a glitch with their system. They need to really get the logo it to detect, as opposed to if a DLC has been played, use this logo to detect which DLC. Because I'm guessing it has something to do with that. The glitch, that is. Those birds scare me so much when I hear their noise so close by. Uh, the game's been pretty good running for me recently. I played a little bit of the trial on the Xbox One, and it was a little bit, it was actually a little laggier than what I experience on here. Though of course, could be that I just have a really good PC, so I don't know. It's not the most up to date, but I mean some of the parts are pretty up to date. But graphics cards are 390. R9 390 and it's worked arc at epic ever since when I got ever since I got the graphics card when it was in early when arc was in early access cuz I uh, I played arc I think I've mentioned I played arc just on CPU integrated graphics in early when I first got it in early access like I think it was sometime in the fall of the year that it came out that it first came to early access so it had been out a few months and a friend of mine had got it and I was interested in it so I got it even though I didn't have a graphics card so I then played it some with just integrated graphics but I had to have everything low so it was like I'd compared it to abstract paintings <laughs> but one side got the graphics card it autom the graphics card software automatically switched it up to epic graphics so when it was like optimizing some of the software that came with it so, so that I actually didn't know it had been switched up there yet so I was actually kind of I was actually kind of, at first didn't notice, which was really surprising, but then as I was walking around, I was like, wait a second, something looks very different. And then I noticed that it 
was really nice graphics. <laughs> which I didn't know. Which for some reason I didn't pay attention enough to to notice. And it also ran decently, though it was still a little laggy. But I was used to it running at like 30 or 20 something FPS with lag spikes and taking a while to load. Because I liked the game enough that I was going to play it like that even if I had with, with because all I had was integrated graphics and even though I had a pretty good CPU, I mean it was just an i5. It was overclockable, but not I didn't overclock it. I just used the default overclock the, the turbo boost which like will overclock it automatically to fit necessity. But let's see. I've got only a few more hunger down and it will be tamed, hopefully. I think this will be the last feeding. And it should be level 11, unless it loses a level in the next or ne next feedings. So that will be good. And meanwhile, though this is one of the highest level thing I've tamed. I didn't make a video of it because it... It, w it these things are pretty boring tames. Um, you just get a bola, you bola it so it can't fly away, and then you get up cross. And then, uh, if it was a lower level, I might have ac accidentally killed it because I forgot that they have low health and the crossbow might knock it, might kill it. But I basically did one tranquilizer crossbow to the head, and it was knocked out. And then it was like 30 minutes of waiting. It was a 145 when I t started taming it. Sadly, I didn't have any good meat, so I just had to use raw meat, so it wasn't best efficiency. At least it was five times taming rate, so it was decent. But, yeah, I actually was kind of lucky. I was just flying around and using my spyglass some, and I randomly, or walking around, and I s randomly su was following a pterodon, and I was like, wait a second, that's a 145. And that's only five under top level on this server, so I believe. Yes, it's tame, finally. Let me th see. I'm starting to run out of feminine names. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll see what. Uh, I'll just name it when I get back to the base. I think. Okay. Yep, it's level eleven. Yes, and I'm almost high enough level to get a saddle for it which is really great. So, okay, I'll just take this stack of meat and stick it on my flyer. Okay, and I'll tell the Spino to follow me while I'm on the flyer. Okay. And head out this way. My own Spino. Finally, something big. I'm going to head around this way. Good. Hopefully, it doesn't damage anything like a trike by stomping on it. I'm not sure if these can do damage by with their feet. And I don't want it I don't want it dying from some encounter with an overly high level small dinosaur. I mean I might be underestimating his power or her power but I prefer to be on the safe side. I think I'll take him for a little bit of a run to see how effective he is.
Huh. You need to have a damage upgrade. You didn't do nearly enough. Where's the dodo? The dodo's just vanished. Is it inside this rock? Oh well. Upgrade you health. Your health is about as bad as a Baryonyx's. Oh, not quite as bad. But not great. This was not the best one. Oh, it's decent melee. I guess. Sometimes I wish I had those numbers. You know, I'm not sure if you'll fit through here. Okay, it looks like you will. Parking. There we go. Access inventory. Do you have good amount of meat? You have tolerable amount of meat. I'll need to level you up some, but I think that'll be it for today's episode. And I think I'll need to get, a, except for a screenshot, maybe. Need to get ideal screenshot location. If possible. Boy, you're loud. And I might do a name. so bad at this. Eh, whatever. Okay. This is not the best location. I'm gonna move you. Okay, I'm gonna level you up, I guess. Wait till I get like a feeding trough. It'll make it so much easier for handling leveling level ups and well not level ups, feeding them, keeping dinosaurs fed. Okay. Looks like all my dinosaurs are leveled up. Except maybe Luthien if she needs Yep, she needs one. Okay, and I think I'll name you, uh, um, why not Yavana? <laughs> okay. oh. Trying to think of, I think that's, <laughs> ease. I think that's how it's spelled. I'll have to double check, but that's a female character from the history of Lord of the Rings, so if you're interested. Had to do something interesting. Okay, stands. Have all my dinosaurs on neutral unless otherwise necessary, because if my base is attacked, I prefer to have them protected. Even though there's a risk, of course, that they'll run, the enemy will run off in the water and, well, you know, bad things happen. But I prefer to take that risk because I don't want to Dillo killing all of my hard-earned things. So that's why I do neutral. And also it's just useful. But I think that will be it for the episode. Try to get one more screenshot, er, or screenshot, uh, picture, ideal, uh, I need to turn off ally looking. Oh, it's already level up again? You 
knocked me over. Stop knocking me over. Behavior. Disable ally looking. I don't want you just looking at me. Okay, there we go. That's a good bit. That's a good view. I mean, I might enable it again, but it's just kind of annoying sometimes. He doesn't look. Well, oh, yes, he does. Or she. I have a lot of she's for some reason. This one didn't really need much naming at work. <laughs> I just had tried so many times to tame one of those. But, biggest by far. So, that'll be it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed and it wasn't too tedious. And, boy, our dino army's coming along once I've used her to gather some prime meat or some mutton or something. I might be able to act, I might actually get a higher level one or a high or even a decent level Rex or something. So hope to see you in the next video. And let's see if I can get the emotes working properly. <laughs> okay. Okay, zoom. Okay. Okay, so K. Okay. Okay, see ya. Hope to see you in next one.